India's first mission to the Sun is set for launch on September 2. On Saturday, ISRO Chief S. Somanath said that Aditya L-1 has reached Sri Harakota and is prepared for launch in the first week of September. After the launch, it will take 125 days from the Earth to reach Lagrange Point 1 L-1. We have to wait till then, Somanath said. The mission involves placing Aditya L-1 in a set orbit from where it would be easy to observe different phenomenons on the Sun's surface. It will be placed in a halo orbit around the Lagrange point, L-1, of the Sun-Earth system. The location is around 1.5 million km away from Earth. So, what is the Lagrange point L-1? Lagrange point 1, often abbreviated as L-1, is one of the five Lagrange points in the Earth-Sun system where the gravitational forces of the two bodies balance the centrifugal force felt by a smaller object, allowing that object to effectively hover in a stable position relative to the two larger bodies. In the case of the Earth-Sun system, Lagrange point 1L1 is located between the Earth and the Sun, about 1.5 million kilometers, about 930,000 miles away from Earth in the direction of the Sun. This point is on the line connecting the two bodies and is situated in the Earth's orbital path around the Sun. L1 is a particularly interesting point because any object placed there will remain relatively stable with respect to the Earth-Sun system. This stability arises from the way gravitational forces interact at this point making it a prime location for various scientific observations in space missions. For example, the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, SOHO, has been positioned near L1 to have a continuous view of the Sun or the cosmos without being affected by Earth's atmosphere or the day-night cycle. Using the special vantage point L1, four payloads directly view the Sun and the remaining three payloads carry out in-situ studies of particles and fields at the L1, thus providing important scientific studies of the propagatory effect of solar dynamics in the interplanetary medium. The spacecraft will carry seven payloads to observe the photosphere, chromosphere, and the outermost layers of the Sun, the corona, using electromagnetic and particle and magnetic field detectors, the suits of Aditya L1's payloads are expected to provide crucial information for understanding the phenomenon of coronal heating, coronal mass ejection, pre-flare and flare activities and their characteristics, the dynamics of space weather, propagation of particles and fields, etc. The seven payloads aboard the satellite are Visible Emission Line Coronagraph, Solar Ultraviolet Imaging Telescope, Solar Low Energy X-ray Spectrometer, High Energy L1 Orbing X-ray Spectrometer, Aditya Solar Wind Particle Experiment, Plasma Analyzer Package for Aditya, and Advanced Triaxial High Resolution Digital Magnetometers.